on this week's world menu. Foods you should remember to eat for a healthy brain. Let's delve into a world of food that keeps your brain healthy. A must try for detoxifying your tired liver. What we have to do is we have to score this. We reveal special recipes using abalones, the king of all shellfish, right now on Healthy Kitchen. There are many new terms being used these days, such as size zero, which reflects the trend of dieting, and also brain foods, which are foods that enhance the performance of your brain. But among them, brain food symbolizes the yearning of the modern people for a healthy lifestyle. And well, being the leaders of a healthy lifestyle ourselves, we are going to explore the world of brain food. So here we go on Cuisine Tour. World Menu To maximize brain function, take note of these foods. Blue-backed fish, rich in omega-3 oils, revive dying brain cells. Beans, which are a safer source of protein than meat, slow down memory loss. A group of foods rich in nutrients for the brain. Let's check out brain food that helps you maintain that well-functioning brain. Brain food for maintaining a youthful brain. What is this fish swimming at such high speed? Mackerel is a fish often served in various dishes. What makes it such a popular fish is that it's rich in DHA, that is omega-3, which is an unsaturated fatty acid that constitutes the protein of the brain. Recently they find that like omega-3, it's a, it's a fat. It's a fat that contains in the brain it's like it's necessary for brain cortex to function and uh, uh, most uh, omega-3 contained is in the fish not the uh, animal fat especially salmon tuna and uh, mackerel you know the oil, 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 oil fat seen mackerel smothered in long fermented kimchi vegetables and hot pepper paste is a favorite dish among koreans DHA neutralizes the effects of harmful oxygen when oxygen is consumed and can revive dead brain cells. Blue-backed fish such as tuna and eels are a rich source of DHA. This is a Japanese restaurant with a long line of waiting customers. The must-taste dish of the house is eel sushi. But wait a minute, the eels are first put in ice water. The unconscious eels are instantly sliced and take on a new form. But why are the eels first put in ice water? It takes quite a bit of skill to cut only the flesh away from the skin. The bite-sized eel sashimi is dipped in boiling water and then showered with ice water again. Top the eel skin, not the flesh, with rice and wasabi, roll it tight, and what you'll see is the white flesh. White as rice eel, flesh is topped with a cute garnish. The eel sushi, completed by the hands of a master, is finally served. Is this eel? It not only looks amazing, but it's delicious and nutritious too. Another food group recommended to remove active oxygen, which ages the brain, is green and yellow vegetables. 
The fresh and colorful vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals, which help regulate the cranial nerves and help you concentrate. Brain food is, uh, is uh, you know, it's, it's not the old thing, it's new things. And it started with like a vegetarian, and a lot of people start eating vegetables, then they find out like why they feel healthy. You know, because the old days, like it's a meat and, you know, like a heavy fat diet. A lot of scientists uh, find out you, you get depressed eating that. Then comes like it's vegetables. Then the scientists recently find out like uh, the proper diet is good for your health, not only for your health, brain too. A restaurant famous for its contemporary food. Recommended here are the vegetable dishes, which are good for the brain. Vegetable blocks cook for a long time and the terrain results in a colorful array of nutrients. Mushrooms, which protect the brain from stress, and asparagus, which cleans out bodily waste, are lightly cooked and set. Finish with a drop of vegetable essence, and you get a beautiful and nutritious dish that's good for the brain. This time, we're cooking beets, which are a special brain food. At this restaurant, the popular dish among customers is risotto made with ground beet sauce. The vibrant colors, unique sweetness, and most importantly, high content of iron and minerals help deliver oxygen to the brain. Brain food for maintaining a youthful brain. A number of restaurants on the way to a hiking path lure customers. The hikers who come here especially like the tofu dishes made with high quality beans. Let's take a look at the process of making delicious tofu. First, put beans with water in a machine and grind until it is soft and pure bean essence. The next step is to remove the remainders from the ground beans. Into this essence of soy milk, add bittern, which acts as a coagulant. This is the most important part of making tofu. Pour it into a tofu board and wait until it hardens. Finally, the tofu is in ready form. The mugworth gives you green tofu, add carrots to get pink tofu, and then you have white tofu. Tofu is a rich source of vegetable protein, as well as phosphorus, lipid, and calcium, which are all good for the brain. To consume all these ingredients in a natural way, place the tricolor tofu on a plate, along with clean vegetables, including kale. Serve with a sweet and sour dressing. Tofu with vegetables. The simple but delicious flavor of tofu makes for more than adequate brain food. This time, quickly boil pepper seasoning at a high temperature. Add mushrooms and pieces of tofu and cook until the spicy seasoning, savory tofu, and vegetables come together. And there you have delicious mapo tofu. A tofu party for customers who are tired from a long hike. Not only does this dish look delicious, but it's packed with nutrients. You can't help reaching for more when it comes to tofu. Take a mouthful and tell us how does it taste? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
집에서 이제 요리하는 분들도 뭐 주부들도 편하고 뭐 영양 덩어리 아니겠습니까? 뭐 밭에서 나는 고기라고도 하는데. 네. 그럼 뭐 이제 뭐 머리도 흰, 흰 머리도 검게 된다 그러잖아요. 그래서 이런 거를 주변에서 보면은 사람들이 많이 즐겨서 먹더라고. 그래서 좋다는 거를 저는 다 알고 있으니까 많이들 드세요, 여러분들. These are some smart foods that make your brain function better and more healthy. People who are tired from work, stress, and studying. Take note of this group of brain foods that can cause a cranial revolution. You'll feel more mentally energized and youthful in no time. Healthy Kitchen. Hey guys, it's Jake here once again trying to find out what today's healthy ingredient is. And I wonder what it is. Hmm. Well, in order for me to find out, I'm gonna need a hint. So, can I get my, oh, okay. This is my hint right here? All right, let me see what it is. I should put my hand in there, but I'm a little nervous. Uh, ooh, whoa, it's kind of fresh. Kind of mushy and hard at the same time. Whoa. All right, oh, I got it. Here we go. This is today's healthy ingredient. You guys ready? Ta-da! Abalone! What's this week's ingredient? A nutritious and rare shellfish, abalone. It's a strong animal and an effective detoxifier as well. Let's take a closer look at abalone. Alright guys, here I am at the heaven of abalone. I mean, there's abalone everywhere. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put on my mask and my suit, and I'm going to dive in and catch me the best of the best abalone. Okay? So I'm going to go in right now. Alright? So stay with me. Ready? Jake is excited about getting his hands on today's ingredients. But first, he's greeted by abalones in an aquarium he can't really dive into. They're impossibly fresh, straight from Wando or Wando Island. Every one of them looks the same, which are fresh. So can you tell me how to distinguish the really good ones from the really bad ones? Ah, uh, the whole is usually very thin, and the color is very dark. And the color is very dark, and the color is very dark, and the color is very dark. Jake quickly learns how to tell apart the fresh ones, and he's soon absorbed into selecting the best of the best. Size isn't everything. These small abalones are very strong. Plus, they're very heavy. Is there a special way to prepare these strong and powerful abalones? Just use a stainless steel knife to easily separate the abalones that are stuck to each other. Different size abalones are used for different recipes. 우리 전복이 작은 거 이런 경우에는 그렇게 오래 키우지 않은 거기 때문에 그 전복의 깊은 맛이 덜해요. 그래서 주로 찜이나 탕에 사용이 되고 전복이 커지면 커질수록 어뭐 팩감이나 이렇게 날걸로 드실 수 있는 그런 방법이 전복의 맛을 더 느낄 수 있는 그런 방법이 되겠죠. 제이크 is pretty worn out from wrestling with the abalones, so we've prepared an instant abalone tasting. Mmm, look at this abalone. See, abalone is not only good for you, but it tastes good too. And I'm about to eat it right now. So what does fresh abalone dipped in pepper paste taste mm -hmm. like? Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Hmm. Does natural taste and scent? What's the verdict? Man, these guys are still fresh and they are well alive and they're just moving all over the place. Alright, let me show them to the chef, okay? Sortino! Look what I got here wow. for you. 
Are these from Wando Island? It, yeah, how would you know? Yeah, I'm one. a chef. I have to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned today. <laughs> I, you know, I really actually went to Wando Island. You went to Wando Island. Yeah, I dove into the water and uh, I caught all of them. And you caught all of them. Yeah, and with you your bare hands. My bare hands. Do you believe and me? A knife. No knife. I don't no need a knife. knife. No, I just took. Just, do you believe Rab, me? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. You're a good friend. <laughs> mm, are these guys fresh? They're fresh. They're moving. Okay. Look at this. They're moving. They're absolute fresh. These guys just give them one little touch and they just start. They just start squaring. moving. And I, and also, what is the abalones good for as far as? Well, I, the I think it's probably good for detoxifying your. Uh, the big thing is it's good for de detoxifying your 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 body. Okay. From any, if you're sick or uh -huh. if you want to stay healthy, okay. it detoxifies your complete body. It's an antioxidant actually. Antioxidant. It's an antioxidant. Wow. Yes. The abalone is eating the parsley. Yeah, it is. Actually. He's eating the parsley he's right hungry, now. Just he's like hungry. Us. <laughs> yeah. But he's gonna be eight later. He's gonna be eight later. Yeah. Yes. And, um, unfortunately. Abalone, according to their sex, yeah, they are cooked differently. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Um, the female is good when it's raw, okay. and the male is good when it's cooked in something that is with heat. Oh, just like how kind of like. Humans are right. We'll get into that later. All right, so I guess we can do something with these guys today. We can huh? start to cook. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we have to figure out which way. Which way we're gonna go? And I think I'm gonna grab you this time, and we're gonna go this way. Okay. This way. Okay. Abalones only grow in the cleanest water of the sea. The abalones grown on seaweed provided by a crane finally appear on the surface of the farm. The scent of the big and plump abalones, which look like pearls in the mud, make it all worth it. Abalones are well-known energizers and they're as nutritious as they're energizing. It's a food that is high in protein with less than 1% fat. It contains all of the main amino acids, which help lower cholesterol, improve bad vision, detoxify and energize. Step 1. Abalone Carpaccio The main ingredients of the first recipe are the impossibly fresh abalones, colorful healthy sprouts, and wine vinegar. All right. Okay, so now here we are in the kitchen about to cook. And yes. uh, Tortino is gonna guide us. Okay, we have our abalone, which is right here. Yes. Okay, fresh. Now what we're gonna do mm -hmm. is we're gonna thinly slice the abalone into a carpaccio. Okay, okay. very thinly sliced. But before that, mm -hmm. we're gonna make the dressing for the carpaccio. We're gonna add 500 mils of white wine. You start wine. whisking. Right now? Yeah, right now. Okay. We'll add this very slowly. Like this? Am I Just doing like that, you're perfect. Why are we mixing white wine and vinegar and all well, oil? Well, the white wine has beautiful, sweet, dry aromas in it. Uh -huh. Now vinegar uh -huh. has been fermented already exactly. and it's old wine. Oh, and it gives okay. a little bit of a nice sour acidity taste to the, to the, the dressing. It's, it's beautiful, True. absolutely beautiful, okay? The dressing includes saffron, sugar and sea salt. As a last touch, add parsley and mix away. Unbelievable. So, uh, you, you like tasting it by yourself? Yeah. You don't want to give me a taste? I guess I will. All right. Selfish. You can have it. Selfish. <laughs> Try that. Wow. You got some saffron hanging yeah. out of your mouth there. It's, you got to clean yourself up a little bit. All right. So, the dressing's done. Okay. Done. Well, the dressing's already. done. Now, what we're going to do with this, you see how it's hard here? Yeah. And on the bottom, it's softer, right? Yeah. What we have to do is we have to score this. Scoring why, why, it. why are you scoring it? It tenderizes it. Okay. It tenderizes it's easier to actually fillet into a nice carpaccio after. Really? Much, much easier. Okay? Sprinkle the fresh dressing on the sliced abalone, garnish with the beautiful sprouts, and there you have a light, delicious, and nutritious 
Perpetual D Abalone. Westerners also love abalone, which was once a taboo food. From stir fry dishes with a delicious sauce, to fresh and crisp sashimi style dishes, salads with combined vegetables, and savory steamed dishes. Taste it once and you'll never forget it. The more you boil and chew it, the tastier the texture gets. If you want to dine at a healthy table, come try a wide array of abalone dishes. Step 2 Abalone Risotto. The main ingredient of the second dish is plump abalone, Italian rice, and porcini mushrooms, which are of course good for you. Alright, so okay. next um, recipe. Next Dishes. recipe, we're gonna do risotto. Risotto. What you wanna do is you wanna get a nice little pot. Okay. Hot. Little two oil. tablespoons right. of olive oil, okay? Is you wanna add about four tablespoons of onion. Four tablespoons of onion. Wow. Ooh, you can hear that baby yeah. crackle, huh? Keep on stirring like that. Then okay. what you wanna do uh -huh. is you wanna add about a half a cup. Half a cup. Of Italian rice to this, okay? okay. Just, Just like, like so. That. And Just keep like stirring? That. Just keep stirring. Pour red wine over the rice, add the porcini broth, and continue to simmer. Add a large spoon of butter and stir and mix together. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to add the most important ingredient, which is the abalone. The abalone. Now, this is raw. You don't want to cook the abalone. No. No, you don't want to cook it. Not too much, because if you overcook abalone, uh -huh. it's going to become tough and oh, chewy. Okay, okay. You want it to stay soft. You want it to stay nice and succulent. Okay. You want it to have a little bit of firmness, but also have some juice into it. Okay? Exactly. So you what you want to do is you want to yes, okay. you want to add this to the risotto, like so, oh. and just give it a stir. Sprinkle chops of parsley and pepper onto the risotto with abalone and stir and mix until all the ingredients are cooked. Okay, okay now we just added some sugar and some salt and man, I'm doing a lot of cooking today. You know what? You're a busy man. Hello. Pick it up. I'll cook, you know. Yes. Yes, I'm right in the middle of shooting television. Can you call me back? He's a busy oh, man. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, I'm just right in the middle of shooting TV. It's Chop. my show, and I feel like he's more the main guy. That, that was Singapore me. calling me. Reservation Singapore. for three people. I said, call me back. I think it's more important. Really? Yeah. You have know, a show to do. I had New York call me just five minutes ago. The viewers yeah. are important. Yeah, the viewers are more the important. The viewers are most important. I okay. love you. Let's go dish this up. Okay, cool. Okay? Finish a dark brown risotto with olive oil and parsley. And there you have your rich tasting and luxurious looking abalone. Risotto with abalone. Yeah. All right. Come to daddy. Come to papa. I'm going to join you. Wow. Wow. And the abalone is not too hard, it's not too soft. Perfect. It's just right. It's just perfect. Let me try it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I know exactly how you feel, dude. Oh, oh. That's just good. Nothing wrong with that. It's perfect. Masterpiece, masterpiece, perfect. Ma masterpiece. Ma <laughs> Hi, I'm from Iodine TV. We just did a recipe on um, abalone today. Is it okay if we just have a taste and a comment? You're going right for the, the, the prize. Mm. How's it taste? It's good. It's good? It's still good. Prize. Yeah, get the yeah. abalone. Go for it. Okay. Well, what do you think? How's it Excellent. taste? Mm. Excellent? Very good. Very good. good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You like it? Nicely seasoned. Very good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want some more? <laughs> it's okay. You can. You can. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of hungry today, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's a mushroom you want if you want a little bit of mushroom. Okay. There you go. What taste? Mm. 
the taste in one word, how would you express it? It's really delicious. Healthy kitchen. Healthy, Healthy kitchen. kitchen. Healthy, Healthy kitchen. kitchen.